when I was researching the interview, I saw on Wikipedia that you shared an apartment with uh, Michael Showalter for five years. And I was just really curious about what that experience was like, like two comedians under like two zany comedians under one roof. Uh, I'd like to imagine that it was always jokes, but I know that, you know, comedians turn it off and they, they are real people at the end of the day. So I'm just, I'm, was there like, did, was it like iron sharpening iron? You know, it was, it was like kind of, it was like an amazing time and he was an awesome roommate and we were really, really good friends and we really made each other laugh. And then we also like saw each other at our, you know, like if we were having like a really bad day or like a really bad moment or like a breakup or, you know, all that stuff. Like we had a very kind of like brother sister relationship, I would say, or like cousins, <laughs> um, because we were really, we were really tight when we lived together and it was super fun. I mean, we're still friends, but like, we were day to day, like, you know, in each other's lives every day. What, what, what time frame was that? Was that like, like, uh, like putting it in terms of your filmography, like where about was that in the filmography? So I'm the worst at remembering exact years of stuff, but I think we lived together for about a year and a half, I want to say, and then Stella happened. And then while we were living together, he did the Baxter and then we lived together for a couple more years and project wise, I don't know. When, when you talk about working with Showalter, how did you guys meet and when did you guys form that relationship? Because you just mentioned yourself, you guys are living together the, like every day, these things happening. So let me ask you this. How did that, how did that relationship happen? Well, I was living with um, two friends of mine, Sam and Liz, and then Liz moved out because she got a boyfriend and me and Sam needed a roommate. And so the New York community, the New York comedy community, especially the alt community is, is what I was participating in. And also what Michael Showalter was, you know, all of those guys were the state that were, it, they were like alternative shows. So they weren't at, at like classic stand up clubs. Mm -hmm. So we all kind of knew each other and socialized together. So there was like a party one night and I mean, we were like, we're looking for a roommate. So I was just like talking to people and I would be like, yeah, do you know anyone who who needs a place? We need a roommate. You know, it was New York City. Like, we couldn't float that extra room. We did, I think, for like a month, maybe two. And we were like, we can't do this. We need someone. So then um, we were. I was at a party and he was there. And I was like, hey, do you know anyone who who needs a place? And he was like, I'll, I'll move in. And I was like, what? Um, and he, I guess, for for his own reasons, like wanted to live with people. He had been living alone and then like wanted roommates. And so he did. And I was friend, certainly friendly with him before then, but then we really did get to know each other really well when we became roommates. And then we like all lived together in that apartment and then found a different apartment and all three moved to the other apartment. So we sort of like were a little crew for a little while. That's awesome. That sounds like a great time. Yeah. Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer.